Hi, my name is Ash and this is my story. So I grew up in a Christian home. All the normal things, I loved Jesus, I loved my parents, they raised us really well. But as most of us do, when we turn into teens, we want to move from our parents' faith to finding our own faith. Um, and that was actually a lot more difficult for me than I thought it would be. Um, so it didn't really go well at, at the start. So I started to sort of live my teen life the way that I wanted to live it, do the things that I thought were fun and were good for me. When I was 17, I came out of a relationship that really broke me. Um, I had experienced an abuse within that relationship and then that sparked two and a half years of severe depression, anxiety and PTSD within my life. Um, I would be able to feel what it was like to be back in that room, to sm smell what it was like to be in that room. It would just all come back and it was just quite a debilitating feeling for me. I remember being so anxious that whenever I would go outside into a crowd I would be scared that I would be hearing his voice even though he wasn't really there and I would go to sleep with crowded voices in my mind. Um, I'd put my head down and then as soon as I'd wake up um, it would all start again so I just remember, I just remember feeling numb and empty and void in my mind like there was there were no thoughts in my mind I was so bedridden that I could only go to work one day a week and then the rest of the week I would just have to spend in bed because it was just too hard to get out of bed I would be staring at walls it just felt completely useless to be alive um, at the same time as all of this, I found out that a lot of the health issues that I had been facing were actually a result of that trauma as well. Um, they, it was my body working in overdrive all the time, um, not being able to tell when it was safe and unsafe, to sort of know when to let its guard down. So they put me on a few different medications at the same time, but I didn't see the point of that I felt useless. I didn't see the point of really living past that. I didn't really want to. I thought if God is a good God then why did he let me go through this? Why put me through such immense amounts of pain? Why didn't he just stop it when he had the power to do it? If he is all being and all knowing then why wouldn't he just stop that from happening to me? From there my anxiety only got worse. I remember one night um, I was just walking so fast around my kitchen almost to the point of running because I physically couldn't stop because the anxiety was that bad. I was just um, I was just walking around and around and around with my laptop in my hand googling like why can't I stop moving without feeling like I'm going to die. Like the anxiety was just that intense within my chest that I just thought that if I stopped I would just stop forever. At the start of 2019, about two years into all of this, I was at another church with my friend and one of her friends invited us to come along and check out a church that he was helping plant. Um, so we said, sure, why not? And he was actually worship leading that day for the first time. And the only thing I really remember about that service is that it was so hot. The air con wasn't working. So we're all just standing there in pools of sweat, um, just singing these songs, but something within that service made me want to stay. So um, afterward, he asked if we all wanted to hang out after the service and go get fish and chips and sit by the beach. So we said yes. So we um, went up to the beach and sat on the hill. And that's where he asked me a question that would change the directory of my walk with God forever. He said, so what's God doing in your life? And I just remember being so angry at that question. Um, I remember thinking, like, are you serious? Like, there is no God in this. Like, he's put me here to suffer. There's absolutely no way that he has a benefit for my life. Like, he's the one that has allowed this to happen to me. Don't ask me that question. Um, but it actually did spark a curiosity within me that night to sort of I guess assess, maybe there is something that I'm missing, maybe there's something that I haven't been paying attention to or even pushed aside within my walk with God. So um, I continued to go to that church. I 
gave my life back to God. I got baptised and I was actually a part of the launch team that we call an incredible church called Ocean's Church now. So that's pretty cool. Um, I still walked the same battles as I had before, but they just felt a little bit lighter each month that I was sort of allowing God to start speaking into my life again. The pivotal moment for me was at a conference towards the end of that year. The preacher asked if anyone had anything that they were wanting or needing to give to God to come up to the front. Um, and I was so desperate to just not be anxious anymore, to not have that debilitating anxiety anymore. So I went up to the front um, and God spoke to me. He said, I like in order for you to sort of um, get past this anxiety, I want you to stop looking at your ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend's Instagram account. And I just remember kind of laughing at God a little bit and thinking, are you serious? Like, that's something that so small could have such a debilitating like factor within my life. Like, you've got to be joking. Like, it can't be that. It's not that, it's not that small. Like, surely not. that's not the answer to my freedom here. Um, so I wrestled with it for a bit. Um, but I just remember saying, all right, God, like, all right, I trust you. Like, you know me better than I know myself, so, okay. Um, and within that moment, like, all the anxiety was just lifted off my chest, all the depression. Um, everything I had experienced for years just left, and it was the most supernatural feeling. It just, describing it doesn't even do it any justice. Um, it was just a moment between me and God where he delivered me from that. And I'll be incredibly forever grateful for that. I felt like I could feel again. I felt like I could breathe. I felt like finally things have sort of gone from black and white to colour in my life again. Um, and after that night, God had started showing me who I thought I was, but also who I was in Christ. He'd been showing me that I had attached my identity to the things that had happened to me and also to the comparison of other people and other women. That yes, I felt unworthy, I felt unclean, I had completely discounted myself from my purpose and my walk with God um, and I was okay with that but um, God was showing me that actually no, like he knit me together in my mother's womb, like he had a plan and a purpose for me before I was even born. Um, and that he has called me to a high purpose and that he doesn't see me um, as all of those things, but actually he just started revealing more truth about who I was through his word and through the things that he was speaking to me, calling me loved, calling me chosen, calling me set apart. Um, and that was, that was a, a key moment within my walk with God and that still continues today. I don't think we ever really graduate from that as well in our faith. So many things happened along the way to get me to where I am now. It was a God intervention. It was my pastors, Pastor Shafe and Jess, walking alongside me, pulling out the gold. It was putting myself into a community that would fight for me and stick by me. And that community and now I call my family within Oceans. It was committing when I didn't want to commit. It was sticking around when I wanted to run. All of those things got me to where I am now. And now I am married to the man of my prayers, the one who actually invited us to church that day. I have a daughter who is going to change the world someday and I have another one on the way. I have a church family that has walked with me through thick and thin, through the trenches. Um, I'm walking in the purpose and the plan that God had designed for me with the family that I thought that I never deserved and all I can say is God is so merciful, He is so kind, He knows we're broken, He knows we're messed up but still He chooses to partner with us and call us clean and call us loved and just invite us into serving Him and serving others in the Kingdom and I just think that's an incredible thing to be a part of. If I could encourage just one person, I would say that if God had picked me up at my lowest, if He would saved me at my lowest and called me to live a life like this, then there's absolutely no way that He wouldn't do it for you. 
He has no favour over his children. He doesn't prefer one over the other. He loves us all the same. He loves us so intentionally and so deeply. If you feel like you're too messed up, that's okay because we all are. That's the beauty and the wonder of Jesus. He just takes us as we are and makes us into something really beautiful, more like Christ. And yeah, I wouldn't be anywhere where I am now without the love of Jesus. It's undoubtedly saved my life.